Apparently, calling 50-year-old men who marry 6-year-old children pedophiles is not accepted in Europe any longer. Last week, the European Court of Human Rights made a scandalous decision on an Austrian woman's case. Here's what she did. She organized two seminars called Basic Information on Islam in 2009 and correctly pointed out that according to Islamic sources and tradition, the Prophet Muhammad married a six-year-old girl and consummated the marriage when she was nine. So he had sex with her when she was nine and he was in his fifties. She then said, a 56-year-old and a 6-year-old? What do we call it if it is not pedophilia? She was fined for this in Austria for disparaging religion and insulting the founder of Islam. She brought her case to the European Court of Human Rights because she exercised her right to free speech. But the ECHR ruled that she was fined righteously because while she exercised her right to free speech, the religious feelings of others also need to be protected the feelings. The court also stated that the pedophilia label was not completely accurate. I can partially agree with that. Someone who commits child marriage is not necessarily a pedophile. And Mohammed had older wives, 10 of them at the same time. But calling such people pedophiles is pretty much a norm today because it is a disgraceful, cruel crime and shouldn't be protected from such a label. It wouldn't be protected if it was someone else, so why does the European court care so much about protecting Mohammed, Islam, and the feelings of the followers of Islam? If you have ever seen people protesting Christianity and Christians, you have probably seen people call Jesus names and make pretty inappropriate jokes. That never bothered anyone legally, so why do we have to care so much about Mohammed? What is happening to Europe? The West was referred to as the free world, where you can live freely, be politically free, and say whatever you want. Is that not the case anymore? Are we giving up our most distinct and precious values that make this place such a great place? Are we really wanting to give up our freedoms and turn our lands into neighboring cultures where you can be punished for sharing your opinions? Why are we doing this? To enforce peace? How exactly does that work? How did that ever work? The Islamic world has been doing that forever, even in its most modern countries. You can be jailed, fined, tortured, executed, or killed by lynch mobs for voicing your opinion about the government, the head of the state, the country, or the religion. You have no freedom. Evidently, the Islamic world didn't turn out to be the better one in this regard, just like in many other regards. Are we trying to be more like them and less like us because we are inviting and accepting people in masses from that world? People who come into the Western world because it is better? Are we trying to make our world worse? The one that people come to because it's not like theirs? Why are we doing this? What happened to free speech? What happened to freedom? What happened to standing up and saying, hey, this is my opinion, whether you like it or not? What happened to I disagree with you, but I respect your right to free speech? At this point, I just feel so glad about having come to America, where free speech is still protected and hopefully always will be protected. Because I come from a different world, and believe me, you don't want to be like that. You don't want to live with a lock on your tongue and chains on you if you use the wrong words. Protect your freedom. You won't understand the value of it until you lose it. Mohammed married a six-year-old, and he had sex with her when she was nine, and he was in his fifties. Mohammed is also considered timeless, universal, a global example for all humankind until eternity. If he lived today, we would all call him a pedophile for what he did. Since he lived 1400 years ago and was the founder of a dangerous totalitarian system disguised as a regular faith, only those of us who have the courage can call him so. Others are rightfully concerned about legal and social reactions that they don't deserve. You can say it with me if you can't raise your voice. You should say it. Mohammed was a pedophile. And I will say this now, and I would say this in Europe and anywhere else. Protect your freedom and your rights. You need them. Stay away from Islam.